verse 84 of Vilapa Kushmanjali. O oh, Devi, my goddess. We have to close the uh, Can I serve your nectarian words with my ears and your camphor scented smile with my eyes? Oh, Devi, my goddess, can I serve your nectarian words with my ears and your camphor scented smile with my eyes? Means your words are all in love. Of for the love. It's never negative, you say. Always positive, in love, in relation, in full of surrender mood, you always, your words are coming and your smile is coming. That I miss in my life. Uh, we are so much material, we are so much in suffering and thinking negative. Oh, how the day will come in my life that I can feel it, your words and your smile. When I can follow and understand that and change my life, That the beauty of Radha Dasis always try to see herself how I can be like you, my son, that I can be useful in service of you and your love. What before I know that he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So and I cannot relate, I cannot develop any relation. I always keep impersonal relation. But by your mercy, your relation so intense and deep, I also feel. This is the beauty of relation and your love and your feeling. It comes through your smile and your words. Right? Beautiful, good day. Mandawa, right? Amazing grace. That too. That to feel it and live in this feeling. What is mean of Dasi? I want to do that same thing what my boss is doing and what boss become happy. I want to fulfill all the services and desire of my boss. That is the nature of the soul. Right? I do the many places service. Radhe Radhe Gurudev, we cannot listen you. 
I do service many places, many governments to earn the money, to create the boss in material world to earn <coughs> money, and many circumstances. But now I find my boss. I have to do selfless service for her. Sure. Because all life I give for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And now I know that this Supreme Personality of Godhead is your lover. And you live in always in your heart feeling. So what is the right source for me? To be easy to be can relate with. I have to learn everything by Swami, my boss. What you are doing, I will try to practice. Although I'm not very qualified, but I will try to develop something from you by looking and working to you. I can see your face, your words, and your smile. And I want to serve them. I want to serve. I want to learn from you. That's it. Only you are my source and good. I want to feel not alone to Supreme Personality of God. And I'm not interested in that. I want to serve you to feel how you love this, your lover, and how he is pain for you, like a, it's like a disc, like a disc, that I want to see how in deep love, your love is this, what was the Supreme Personality of God is for you, this, he is pain like anything. make you happy. That I want to see. I am not interested in his opulence. I want to see his lovingness, kindness and simpleness for you and your lovingness and kindness, simpleness for you. That is Naravadda Lira, like a human pastime. Whether in separation or in meeting, uh -huh. Sri Raghunath always, always relishes the stream of Radha Mohan's sweetness. That. Any circumstances, you keep me. I will not say you why you do this for me, but only thing I want to live in your loving exchange of sweetness of love, frame for you. My goal is only one how I can learn with my Swami to live always in one mood. I would not want to change with any influence, and this influence is material who want to change this. That I don't want. I am not interested in that. Why to change? You say to be as Thai power. 
to fix Narayan Maharaj say we need the nature as Thai fixed nature. Not jumping. All life I jumped. I never fixed myself. But now in the last moment of my life, still jumping nature is will stay there. I want to fix myself. If I know fix, how I will go to the right place? No. Jumping nature will bring any place. The moment where I am, that is my practice. So I want to fix. If I have to go, I have to go in the service of Radha. Where they are. What, what for? To see their sweet, loving actions. Yeah. No other desire I want to be in my life. Whether in separation or in meeting, Chiragunath always relishes the stream of Radha Mohan's sweetness. Chiragunath. This full transcendental bliss is sometimes relishable in the form of joy and sometimes in the form of anguish or worry. The stream of loving lilas that constantly flows in the abode that transcends the three modes of material nature can always be experienced in the heart of hearts of the most fortunate devotees. Again, this one. The stream of loving lilas that constantly flows in the abode that transcends the three modes of material nature can always be experienced in the heart of hearts of the most fortunate devotees. Yeah. So the heart of the devotees is the abode of all transcendental lilas and is always yeah. experienced there, Rudy. Yeah. <coughs> Sometimes these visions even appear in the hearts of ordinary devotees, like a lightning flash appearing in the sky. Yeah. That is Brahmagani. They think, oh, I got it. I don't need to go more deep. I achieved it. But one is not satisfied. Branch is not satisfied. The lightning is nothing compared to the relationship. Yeah. Lightning is a darkness gone. So it's become lightning. My darkness is over in my heart. It becomes lightened. 
somehow and more time if you give, you can see face to face everything is going on. Devotional practice is meant to make this blissful experience stay steadily within the heart. When this practice of remembering God ripens, the bird-like heart of the devotee will fly up to the planet of bliss. See? And remembering, remembering or the chanting in the way. Remember. Say that again, Gurdi. Chanting is the only way for remembering. I try to remember without japa. Uh, five minutes is okay, but seven minutes not going on. Okay. I think I do so many round japa. I no need japa to remember. So I keep and, and remember like this. And I five minutes I remember, and after seven minutes my mind flies different directions. And this support you that it will go out. Sure, after that, bring back. What you doing, guy? But come here. So Tulsi Mala is supporting us, Gudi. Tulsi Mala is helping us to stay focused. Tulsi Krishna Priyati. Yes, Priyati. To see Krishna Priyasi, then you realize it. The realization come that time when thou see her birth. With her mercy also. Yeah. When this practice of remembering Goddess <laughs> ripens, the bird-like heart of the devotee will fly up to the planet of bliss. Yeah. So Goloka Vrindavan. Yeah. Let's and go. In, let's go, yes. Jai Ho, let's go. <laughs> let's fly. <laughs> <laughs> We are all in the plane of Gurudev's heart now, because in your heart, Gurudev, there's the Leela in the connection. So we are flying with you, Gurudev. No, no. I'm, I'm praying for this. I have nothing God it. I'm praying and trying to get it. I have a short time and it's still not happening anything. Really, I'm not God it. You have so many obligations, Gurudev. <laughs> this is the material body of creation, because the still material body is there. Soul has a one obligation, and Sarup has only one obligation to serve some Jaya. material obligation is material. This body become ashes and even not keep identification of us, this passion. Nothing will remain. Nothing. Mix with the dust to dust. Is my ego is keeping identity? 
education, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Yesterday you mentioned one very nice thing already in Croatian class. You said that the sadhus, they can see where the person is with whom they are in contact. If they are on bodily pla platform or if they are in soul consciousness or if they are in Swarup. And according to that, they will relate and help us from which level we are. They will relate, they will talk. Who is living through the senses in the senses consciousness? They cannot talk higher than that. They cannot see. Yes. And who live in the sarup consciousness, they can see all levels of the person. This is divine wisdom. Hmm. They can feel with the vibration what is their condition, how uh, they want to help, but they, they, the person not ready to take help. This is the problem. Because their consciousness of the, that subject is so deep and that they don't want to go out from that. You say, how you know these things? Because I realize in my practice, I am not a Satsi, a Pandit, and I am reading, but I realize looking in my life and my practice. In my sadhana time, I do it and check it. And the sadhak, I watch it. Jairati. Jairati, thank you for sharing. So when this practice of remembering Goddess ripens, the bird-like heart of the ripen, ripen means what is many ripen. In English. Ripe means juicy and smelling like a ripe mango. Yeah, only to eat. Ripen, not is a green, <coughs> and not unripe. Means the real time to use it. Mature, mature. And many fruits, without coming to mature, they fall down also. In green position, you see in mango. And ripe fruits are coming down. And when it's ripened, it's fall down. Ripen, you are. You get the one ripened food too. Different tastes. Sridhan. So when it will ripe it, An inexhaustible fountain of sweetness wow. and beauty will then burst out before the devotee's eyes. Burst out. Bursting. Explosion. No need to afford something. <laughs> Surprise happened first time. <laughs> 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 
happens. And, and one more short thing. Come here. It's like when a, yeah, when a, yes, yeah, yeah. When a fruit ripens, uh, you know, it falls down like Gurudev said and it splashes. But if there is somebody sitting on the branch and another one is sitting on the branch and another one is sitting on the branch and give it down to the one who want to have that fruit, that major fruit, then it comes in a very beautiful, juicy state to us. And this is, the, this is from Guru, Param Guru to Guru Dev and so on. Yeah. Otherwise, it splashes. It falls down from high above and it splashes on the ground. Three rods, you see? More high class. <laughs> And Gurudev, one Rastika Vaishnava who is full of the fruits of Prema Bhakti, if we compare them to a tree, then this tree will be bending down because this tree is so full of fruits. You see this in the garden. When they are heavy and big fruits or mangoes, then the tree's branches, they are hanging down. And then the result is that even the ignorant people who are lying underneath the tree they don't need to do anything when they are sleeping and their mouth is open the fruits will fall in the mouth <laughs> this is the beauty I hate people. I hate too much. Costless. Costless. No reason for mercy, but mercy is coming to me. Yeah. I because never do. Full. I never do any good things in my life. But the mercy come direct to my mouth. <laughs> Your Guru was feeding you. <laughs> yes, you see. Narayan Maharaj is telling, this is previous sanskar. The boundless waves of love that arise in the ocean-like heart of a loving devotee can somewhat be understood by hearing the words of a great lover of goddess. Yes. Great lover of? Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheating good if he is writing God, but I write I say God is <laughs> Swamini. One no, pointed but... one pointed we have to come. That is the meaning. Why? Because they say one soul to body. Either of some anyone. It will bring one body and two body, one soul. That is Radha. One soul, two body. Let's go Ranga Gauri. No, two body is Radha Krishna. And two soul in one body is Gauranga. When a living entity experiences this everlasting bliss, he attains his swarup. This is one thing, one, one thing I want to Living entity is not my physical body. 
So my this my talking, what my behavior is in, totally influenced with the material faulty. Living entity is on his own. That he have to differentiate. And in the Western world, this is the difficulty. Living entity, we think my body is living entity. Sorry. Because we baptize like this. Soul not exist. Uh, we start with the flesh living entity. Flesh is not living entity. It's a flesh. The soul in that, that is truth. The day it will be very clear, there will be no problem. This is the only key point to understand that what is the meaning of living it. It's nobody mistake. It's a mistake of teaching in the childhood like this. But we have to fix it. Only one thing you fix are with devotees or the research. For Indian, they also baptize with something. But their soul, they start talking in childhood. And they fix the soul from the childhood and they bring to the death time and that taking birth time and they point it this. They do the 13 day ritual to tapasya, to do the tapa to identify and think that soul is there, not body. This is sadhana. They all they do this practice is not attachment, it's teaching and hammering with Bhagavad Gita and Garur Puran. This okay. Garur Puran is so heavy that once it, the Western devotee leave the next time never they will leave. <laughs> You are believing. <laughs> One time, if anyone will be read other time, next time they cannot listen. And in 13 days, they give with the hammer to you have to do this. How the karma will bring you in which suffering? <laughs> Right, I'm not asked to go to Nathar anyway. I was, I was speaking uh, with Gora Sundara just the other day that see how in India this culture is so uh, strong that 13 days it's all about getting this illusion that we are not this body and the soul of the beloved one has departed and it's very deep. And in 13 days you cannot go to temple. Temple is there, I am here. But nobody can go in temple in the family. And they have to think on the man, the, uh, the person who left the body and pray always. You cannot do Diksha Mantra like you are man says. It's a very strong, strong, strong practice. Tapa, tapasya. This is the really is a, to to realize that you are soul, you are living entity is gone. You're not body, is your living entity. You just now you the the soul go out, you put in the earth. You put out down to the bed. You 
you're not keeping on bed. Immediately, in half an hour, you bring to the out of the home. One hour, maximum two hours, we not keep the body in home. Very quick. Two hours is the more time. It should go in the bur burning fire. Done over. And the who destroy the body? The son who mother give the birth, and son is destroying the body. So he become offensive for the that soul that he destroy the mother body. So 13 days, they are doing the ritual because your body was, soul was not there, his body has become useless, so I destroyed. So that is all teaching of the soul, living but saying. Sraad is a teacher. Teaching of your living identification. That you are not a body, you are not a senses, you are not a... You, why you identify this? You have to identify that you are so. In four days, I used to... He said, Dadu, I want to be a spiritual. I don't want to go in material business and this. You see? And he changed himself by this realization. How long he stand that say, if it's not stand for six more than six months, but it comes to you, hammer and move you to identify that living entity, soul is the living entity of you. This is the teaching of seven, the 13 days Sraddha. Cry together, sit together. You are so, so many times happy together. Now you have to come to cry, and they cry together to share their love for the soul, not for the body. <laughs> All they say, Ketni Sudhatmati, how the purer soul is this, how nice soul was that. Nobody say body was that. Ask to anyone. And, and I felt very that the soul is watching. Sure. So she's present there. So 13 days, soul is watching who is love to me and who is caring to me. Because he don't want to leave his home, he don't know other place. He don't want to leave the children's husbands, but they have nobody. You cannot recognize, but this this soul is seeing everything. So thirteen days, everyone give food for him from his plate first. Water, everything. And for the cows. For the soul, for the soul. For the cows. Why? To recognize that the soul is gone. An important of soul is important. Living body. So may any practice in the Western world like this? (laughs) 
No, they're not baptized. that. Huh? It's so never they, that deep. You see? This is only by me and my point. The baptized that you are uh, take the body and you will come for one time. So, <laughs> eat, drink, and be merry. Here they say, no, no. In my, you say Garur Puran, if you listen one time, you will run away. And they have to listen. Many don't want to listen that time, but they strongly say you have to listen for this soul, because not for this soul, for your soul. Because if you do mistake, what is going to happen to you? Chief Jago. Chief Jago. You will go in so hellish planet that you have to know now. <laughs> this is Jago Puran. Big purification, Guruji. So that I say, you living entity point. Yes. When you fix this living entity thing, then your spiritual life jump. Then you can come to your Swarup. Easily. And Baba. there is no diversion. But if you are mixed up with your material body and identification, then it's never clear. This is the key point. I'm telling you, this is the key. This is the key of the realization. Yes. When a living entity experiences this everlasting bliss, he attains his svaru, his constitutional position. Oh, that is a, a, he can easily go, uh, no, get no. it. When you combine with your material body and they go running for the senses, enjoyment and this and that, then it is your living entity. Kaput. They make kaput to no, us. No. Mm -hmm. That is in gunas. Living entity is not. They can affect it with gunas, but when they are there in purity, there is no guna can touch. That says Suddha Sattva Guna, Vishuddha Sattva Guna. Sattva Guna, no. Suddha Sattva Guna, Vishuddha Sattva Guna. Yes, good. You were explaining this to us. The sattva guna is on the material level. We are influenced on a human. And shuddha sattva is the soul level. And vishuddha sattva is svarup level. So means the living entity. That has to be crystal clear. What I cannot see. Why not see? How I will believe? If I cannot see, I how will it? Because this is spiritual. Material eyes cannot see a spiritual thing. You are not looking to Krishna because you want to see from material eyes. You can see Krishna when you come in your constitutional position. Yes. Lo local call and bodily consciousness, sense consciousness is a long distance. You know how you will see who is in America, who is in Germany, maybe internet can show us. But why not to be a local call? 
come in exactly. my living entity. <laughs> Go on. It's too much to clear it, no? <laughs> but it's the key, I say you is the key. You will be balanced, you will judge, you will be everything you can do. I see in the church, I say you one time, in Hungary. The key, one angel has the key. And that is a part. That part is a living entity. The it's Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit. And then one is the angel has a balance. You judge yourself. You judge other, and you judge first yourself, and you are balanced, never unbalanced for small things. You are not. Good and bad is no meaning for us. Go on. This is the attainment of victory for the Chaitanya Shakti. You see, victory. This is the point for the victory. Chaitanya means consciousness. The potency of transcendental consciousness. Yes. This is the point of victory, I'm telling you. This is my realization. This is meaning of Chaitanya. This is the meaning of consciousness. And when you are living in the consciousness, Krishna is there. So Prabhupada says, Krishna, conscious, means Chaitanya. You are Chaitanya with yourself. Krishna is with you. Right? Savior. He is the savior of my chair. Yes. Living entity. He is the savior. No other. He has to be with you because you are conscious. You are Chaitanya in your living entity. And that practice need bhajan. No other way. We practice to do with the bodily consciousness to become more material identification. I developing my false ego with physical activities. Sorry to say. And this is the attainment of Svaraja, one's own state. That was that was the, the great mercy of Narayan Maharaj. He want to say in hidden path of devotion, every every word is a golden. Nobody want to listen that. And I want to share that his words, how he is explaining his Bhagavad Gita, hidden path of devotion is the Bhagavad Gita of Bhagavad. Gita. Bhagavad Gita is gifted by Prabhupada, is a is everything in Bhagavad Gita. Read with me Bhagavad Gita and hidden path of devotion. Nobody will say you, I'd say you. What they give me the realization, listen to me. Share the read only line, I will explain you that. Bhagavad Gita and hidden path of devotion, then you will understand Vilav Kusumanjali. Are you read the Vilav Kusumanjali? Read that and you see that is Vilav Kosumanjali connection or not. It's all connected, Guru, depending on, on your own realization. 
then why you not understand that time? That is to see that. Now you can understand because you PSP. Now you can understand every details. That time it was the preparatory school. You don't try to know that. It's not possible. Really, I'm only interested. You read Bhagavad Gita of Prabhupada, and I will show you how Vila Kusum Manjali is connected here. Radha Rani is connected here. How you read the hidden path of devotion? How what is the meaning of Raga Bhakti? Atma Rati Gude. Atma Rati. When Atma Rati happens, Atma Rati means Sarup Rati. Mm. Then you no need to do anything, nothing to do. Read that. Mm. Mm. Yoga. Everything is happening to you. What I know. <laughs> By your mercy, Gurudev, it needs the mercy of a Raga Bhakta, of a self-realized Dasi. I, I got the mercy of Prabhupada and Narayan Maharaj and my Gurudev. They are the most. I first I go to Gurudev, na? Radha Govinda, and to understand Gurudev teaching, Prabhupada helped me and Narayan Maharaj. All they are, uh, you have to make plus. You cannot cut it and minus it. Yes. If you have in life Jesus, you have to plus more. You don't cut anyone. If you cut, you lose. Yes, because Guru Tattva is all connected and they are working. All, you have to add it more and more. Added. Who said not to add? Innocent. They now realize they say, all add. But Sajati. If this Sajati means same, mood is not there. If you are in the Basel Rasa and you are mixed with the Sakya Rasa people, you will become Kaput. Even this. If you will not know, know where you will be, if anyone is a motherly love, go to South America, where she is. There she is here, one South American, Priya, my Priya. They are not interested in the friendly relation and Jesus as a son and father. They are not interested. I see very closely there, and I research that. They are only interested in Mother Mary connection, Barcelona. And they are practicing. They are living in the day-to-day -day life with this practice. What you say? I see this. I was traveling five, four or five years in South America. After 1965, I traveled 20, 21. After 24, I traveled 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. I traveled there. I know their nature. I don't know the nature of uh, Japanese. I know the nature of the Swiss people. I know the nature of all are different. Italians. <laughs> you know, all natures are different. Estonian nature is different. Prussian nature is different. All they are different natures. Javan nature is different. 
because I assess. So that is the point. Is all covering nature inside the nature of the my constitutional vision and my soul is not touched by anything. No influence. Because of outer influence, they they say yes, yes, yes. They no conf create conflict. When you identify that, that purity comes. That is the key. And you bring us all to Vrindavan, to our Swamini Guru. <laughs> so this is the attainment when a you living entity. To Vrindavan, listen. Ah. Because all you are missing love. Of course. So far with the philosophy. Some are with the Buddhist monk, all Japanese are in the monk. They are totally monk. They are all sannyasi, even the ladies are sannyasi. I see that. All the females, they are monks. What you will make monks to them? They are already monks. <laughs> Better to become Dasi. <laughs> and what you will teach to German? They are the teacher. <laughs> you cannot teach to Germans. Because they They're are very fucked up. <laughs> they are the teachers. You put one subject and then you see all the argument will start on and on and on and on. Some issue has to cover. <laughs> 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 so what is this? Sadak they are or Siddha they are? Sadak they are. What is this? Soul consciousness? Totally Kapoor consciousness. Sorry to say. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> totally material consciousness. Small thing, big ego good. Small thing touched to that is the ego. Ego, this is you. Yes, we all have it. Yeah, why is this? You want to be influenced by that. You don't want to go out from that. You have I... to you have to see the the person huh, who is your enemy. An enemy is inside you, not outside. And that is false to you. Go on, sorry, I will bring you a different direction. Of my yes. So, yes, Gurudev, when, when a living entity experiences everlasting bliss, he attains his Swaru, the constitutional position. And then this is the attainment of victory for the Chaitanya Shakti. You see, the victory for Shimati Radhika, Chaitanya Shakti. Victory, 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 victory means joy. What is that? What is that? Vijayate. Param Vijayate, Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. Yes, that Vijayate. Then the holy name becomes very relishable, right? At the point. You will win, win, win all the place. And other wants to win, then you say, okay, you are winner, I am a loser. Like Krishna said to Radharani and Gopi, okay, I lose my game. You winner, I don't want to clash with you because I have loved you. This mm. 
Oh, it's a sign of God. In love. And say, okay, you are winner, I'm a loser. But this, this is the supremacy that he said that I lose the game. not supreme because he is sitting in the highest empire. He is spin like a disc. disc. This is the supremacy of my Krishna. For Radha, for gopis. He likes show to spin. Me, show me anyone like Krishna who is spin like a disc for lovers. So anyone? Nobody can do that. Only Swamini. That is meaning, he is teaching that love is the way and love is the goal. There is no other way. What you are confusing, love is the way and love is the goal. Don't move. And this is also maximum humility. That is the mind. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya. It happens before the all say love is the way and God is the goal. But Chaitanya comes, he says love is the way and love is the goal. Chai Hokuti. Srila, um, in, in vulgarated means overwhelmed or fully um, in this Mahabhav, situated in Mahabhav, Srila Das Goswami relishes such a boundless bliss both in separation and meeting. Gurudev, last Sunday, we also had this realization by your mercy and the mercy of all the devotees that uh, Lord Avanibai was reading the last four verses of uh, Vilapa Kusmanjali. And I want to share this with you because it was a very special realization we had that Actually, when he is in separation or Tulsi Manjari is begging for the mercy, then also so much ecstasy is there that we cannot understand because for us, we want to avoid suffering. But for them, there is no suffering. Even it looks like suffering, but it's not. That was a very uh, interesting um, realizations that we had when we were uh, reading the text. That even when it looks like uh, the separation is, is suffering, but it's also ecstasy, because in this ecstasy of separation, she ex he experienced meeting. Right, Gurdi? Oh, oh it's a subject. Internet for it, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gurdiv, yeah. yes? Hmm. Gurdiv? Yeah, listening. There was a cut in internet. So yeah. we had we had the subject that uh, that in separation there's also so much nectar that he always has a, a boundless bliss. Again, he... Uh, in both separation and meeting. And his verbal expressions, his words, are merely like a thin line on the swelling flood of the ocean of meeting and separation. Yeah. Actually, the beauty of separation is relish 
when we are very close in the nation, in feeling an intense love. How intense is this? Separation become more radish. So if we have more love, Gurudev, and more sambanda, more relation, then separation that, also becomes relishable. How much intense intensity of feelings and love and relation it it means in separation, and you can test yourself at the time of separation, and it increases more in separation of love. If there is something missing in separation time, it increases. No, I will do more this time. I will increase my love. What is missing in my life? I will do more than you. Your desire increase for the more to more. That is the beauty of separation. Wow. Very beautiful. Yes. More service and more surrender, Guru. In time. Are time. No see godly concerts. <laughs> see the uh, Narvada, you like a human. Okay. Uh, Krishna yeah. is Naravada Lila. They are like a human doing. And we why he do a human like a human? Because human can understand, only animal will not understand. If we have animal brain, we will not understand. Naravada Lila means he behaved for the human who is in human consciousness, who is living in the body and who has a feeling of the senses and everything, they can also can feel and understand. No need to be a siddha there. You can be normal life, you can feel it. And then you decide you want to relish more than Godi. So if they do Narvata Leela, they don't do Leela like animals, they do Leela like a human. And if we are human, we can feel it. We can go to understand Mukti. He's not acting like a god. No. Many times Narayan Maharaj said Narvada Leela. Hundred percent, no doubt, you have to believe it. Many Shastras are telling you the Narvada Leela, like a human, and that is the supremacy of Krishna, that he is ready to do like a human behavior. Living godly consciousness, we say, I'm yours, I'm yours. Yeah, and, and come, say. And in the spiritual consciousness, we say, you are mine. You are mine. Yes, yeah. So what you listen or Gopinath is telling. Yes, this godly consciousness is for the, like you say, Gurudev, like a business deal. I am yours, so you make me happy. And then I do the prayers yeah, and then... Bring one car, give me one wife, uh, give me, uh, give give me, me. One, yeah. one house, nice flat in the Frankfurt and there. Then. Ah, then this is a <laughs> godly consciousness. And if you not give, I will not pray you. This is my condition. Yes. This is godly answer. Are you give or not give? I love you. In love, what is the give and take here? Yeah? Like my Hanuman love. Hanuman. What is the godly consciousness? Hanuman. He give or not give, he love. Right, huh? 
Yes, Guru Dev, he gives everything. You see, I'll not he give did. what he does. If you not give what you will do, you love him. He gave you the love, that is the highest thing he gave you. Ram Bhakti gave you. Right? Yeah, but through also f through you, Gurudev. All is giving. It's Hanuman's mercy, but actually only only just starting to realize through your mercy, through your love. That's I must I must admit, Gurudev, in the beginning, oh even the, in, even before I knew you, Krishna Chandra, I knew him before he became a devotee, but he was so attached to this Radharani. And I was thinking, oh, this Radharani, Radharani, Radharani. Yes, Jai Sita Ram, Jai Sita Ram. Anyway, following Krishna Chandra all these years, he wants to introduce me to Narayana Maharaj. I tell him, no, I don't need. I have Prabhupada, Prabhupada is there, it's enough. And five years later, Narayana Maharaj came again. He says, come. Come, Chris, you must, you must, you must meet him. I said, no, I don't need. <laughs> and along the way also, but maybe 15 years ago, I also met you. And everyone is Radharani, Radharani. I was afraid. I was afraid. Ah, I don't know. I, I like this story about Murari Gupta so much because it proves it proves the point it, because it's not it's it's not the this lila purushottam or the mariyada purushottam it's the love and you have this love gurudev you showed me this love all my brothers and sisters you all have this love who am i i thank you for all your love gurudev and all my brothers and sisters Without mercy of Anumat, nothing can happen in our life. You know this key. Anuman, where the Anikatha of Krishna come, Anuman is the first to protect that place. Anuman is the source of bhakti. Anuman is the source of love. Anuman is a giver of the whole sindur. He is the covered himself with the red sindur, whole body, because he you know my Ram will become happy to see me. He don't bother others what they will bother it. Love is business. Here, here is the only business of love start from Anuman. Krishna, who says Supreme Personality of Godhead, his flag was Hanuman flag in Kurukshetra. See that flag in Prabhupada book. And when Karna is making the bow, he goes three, third, 15 feet back. And when the Arjuna put the bow, the, the, the chariot goes 30 feet back. But Krishna never say to Arjuna, wow, very good you do. When Karna put the 10 feet, 15 feet back, then he said to Karna, wow, you are the best Yoda. One time, two times, three times, five times, he said. Then he said, ah, Prabhu, ah, Arjuna said, Krishna, you, you say Karna is a good, and I push him 30 feet back, and you never appreciate that. What is happening? Arjuna, you don't know. Anuman is in the chariot. 
this flag of Hanuman, so powerful. I am sitting in a chariot. And after that, he pushed 10 feet back to me and to Hanuman. And you what if there is nothing in karma? If you put 20, 30 feet back, it's no meaningful. This is the meaning that Karna has more power than you. Because he can push Hanuman and to me also back. Jai Hanuman. Jai Hanuman. <laughs> Go on. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you so much. Jai Hanuman. Yes, sorry. Yes. No, very beautiful sharing. Thank you, Hanuman Dasji. <laughs> Yeah, so the Sanskrit commentator Bangi Bihari Vityalankara is writing the word Devi comes from Div, means playful. Sri Radhika is called Devi here because of being playful and speaking playful words that sound like nectar to the ears. After Tulasi Manjari relished Mukara's nectarian words, she now wants to taste the nectar of Radhika's words. Oh Radhi, I want to see you smile and hear your nectarian reply to Mukara. The nectar of your words is mixed with the camphor of your soothing smile. When will I see and hear you smile and talk at the same time? Someone who drinks water mixed with camphor pleases both his nose and his tongue. Similarly, both my eyes and my ears will understand your words. The face is the index of the mind. Wow. See that. <laughs> face is the index of the mind. Go on. And the eyes is the index of the soul. Dio. <laughs> Dio. The face is the index of the mind. Those words that are not revealed to the heart are revealed through a smile. Wow, a smile. Yeah. Shirada is the embodiment of love. Her body consists of prema and she is world famous as Krishna's dear most beloved. Wow. Yeah. Without being an expert knower of such emotions, one cannot Understand this. Again. Without being an expert knower of such emotions. Emotions are. Wow. Emotion knower is yes, not my knowledge. In emotion, feeling. 
we learn from the mind, philosophy is not worth it. We have to know the emotion or <coughs> this is Raga Bhakti. Without being an expert knower of such emotions, one cannot understand this. Yeah. That Shimati Radhika. Underline this, underline this phrase. Yes. No. Underline. <laughs> Prema is visible on the inside and on the outside. Yeah. In the when somebody fall in love by looking, you can know. No need to talk. They will not talk, but you will know they are in love. They're drunk and they say, Not I know drunk. Then by smell, you will understand. It's drunk. Kun Madara cannot hide. Happiness, you cannot hide. And the bitter leaf, if you eat, and so my mouth cannot be a red, it's not possible. It will be red. You cannot hide. And love you cannot hide. If you have love, you say, I have no love with anyone. But your action will change. That is the meaning of love. Bear preta, bear anger, and fighting, ambiness. Madhupan, Raiman Dave Nadu. No can hide, nobody can hide it. So that is the point. Love cannot hide. You cannot hide it. Yeah, honey wine. The taste of honey wine. Honey wine, yes. Make you mad and for whole life. That's you cannot hide it. Yeah. Every act. Or oh, again, prema is visible on the inside and on the outside. You see that I see. Wow. Every act and every word of the premika bhakta, the loving devotee, is sprinkled with the rasa of prema. Yeah. They have no business with going to the fight and wasting their time and to conflict. They can lose everything, but they are not interested. Why? Because they have no time from here. They are not interested. Means everything they realize that is a material, nothing meaningful. It is only by great fortune that the blessed day comes. When one becomes greedy after tasting the nectar 
of Manjari Bar oh. that manifest in the prayers of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. Yeah. It is only by great fortune that the blessed day comes when one becomes greedy after tasting the nectar of Manjari Bhav that is manifest in the prayers of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. Yeah. By hearing and chanting the great words of the Acharyas, a relish for this subject awakens. Iha ye eka bhara pi ekarna tvare tara karna lobe iha chadi te na pare rasa tatva gyan Oi i hara shravan, prema bhakti poi, radha krishnera charan. Anyone who has drunk this even once through the ears becomes greedy and cannot give it up anymore. Yeah, this is the point I want to make myself greedy and all of you greedy, that you will never leave it. And this greed will help to others also. Greedy, or what I am searching for in life, your life. Love from Radha and devotion come from Hanuman. Without love, there is no devotion. If you want to learn devotion, Hanuman teaching, Prem Bhakti Chandrika. And if you want to love in devotion, in that you want to serve devotion with love. Then Radha must see me. Radha is a love. Love with devotion is more very high. Rama, devotion of Hanuman is very high because with love. And also his devotion. Ramana has a devotion. 24 7 he is thinking for Ramchandra but like envy devotion. So he not get the same relishment like Hanuman. Devotion means 24 hours thinking for someone. So he thinking Ramana like enemy, but Hanuman is thinking to serve him. Love with devotion is the highest. And devotion teach Hanuman is a prem bhakti chandrika study. See that. If you want to learn dasa bhakti, you have to learn with Hanuman. Sri Raghunath Das says, Your words defeat the taste of nectar a hundred times. I will drink it through my ears and through my eyes. Yeah. Now one may ask, words are formless. How can they be seen? They cannot be seen, can they? How can they be seen by Tulsi? Tulsi? This is the secret. 
Tulsi made Swamini meet Krishna in a kunj. Shrimati is unwilling and tells him, don't touch me. But she smiles at the same time. Seeing this, Tulsi understands. Her mouth says, don't touch me. But she means to say, touch me. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Only feeling person can understand this. Her yes has thus swallowed her no. In this way, the words don't touch me are audible, can be heard. But the words touch me are visible in the eyes. In this way, Tulasi sees and hears words Ooh. at the same time. <coughs> so this is here the fulfillment of the verse. Because now Tulsi, she can hear what Swamini says, but that she doesn't say it. That the Because she can, in the verse, she's praying that how can I serve your uh, smile and your words, right? So that is the Leela here, actually, now. The yeah. Tulasi, Tulasi Manjari has brought Radha and Krishna together in the Kunj. Oh, wow. And uh, Swamini is pleasing Krishna by saying, don't touch me. But her eyes say, touch me. No, one thing more, Radha. Yes? Why you are taking so late to touch me? <laughs> so don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> touch me. Why I am here? <laughs> Not touch me because you are too late for this. How long you need to touch me? <laughs> Why you are immediate? Do what are you doing, man? <laughs> touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me because she's angry. Why so late for this? I come for meet you and you are not touching me. Yes. In wow. this way, Tulasi is seeing and hearing the words at the same time. And now, now she is taking control, Gurudev. And wow. thus, she makes Mohan or Shyama Sundara embrace Swamini by giving him a hint. You see? Now she is taking Control of is teaching to Shama Sundara. Are why you are running for him? Yeah? You are the teacher of Shama Sundara. Wait in the Manjari Sarup and see. Are do now? Why are you late here? Manjari said, focus. Your brain become cow brain. Your animal brain has to not do the right, do immediately. <laughs> he give this in no date. Again, she will become angry and I have to time to make him down. Do it. <laughs> but she's so intelligent, she do this that Radhika not see that. Hiding from backside to Radhika. <laughs> So quick. Quick before the next man will come. <laughs> yeah. Don't you make a late the man will come then again I have to but make cool down to her. <laughs> no it <coughs> 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 
श्री राधे जय श्री राधे माय गॉड गुरुदेव यू आर सो फुल ऑफ इमोशंस दैट यू शेयर विद अस ऑल गुरु कृपा नारायण महाराज कृपा प्रभु पाद कृपा He is not in such a bow. I can guarantee you. He is in Manjari bow, Prabhu Pad. I am very respectful to them who say such a bow, but maybe they are in such a bow. My Prabhu Pad is in Manjari bow. Yeah. Jai Ho, Jai Prabhu Pad. <laughs> Jai. So, Gurudev, this is now the solution of the prayer. Why yeah. is she praying like this? She is praying, "Oh, Devi, my goddess, ha, can I serve your nectarian words with my ears and your camphor scented smile with my eyes?" So she listening her Sw- Swamini's words. She is saying, "No, don't touch me." but she sees in her eyes the smile on her face that says why don't you just touch me <laughs> and she's giving krishna the hint <laughs> quick <laughs> yeah ha ah. anybody else wants to share on this Sir, 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 Goranga, yeah, Rasika, Goranga is also Rasika. Goranga Sundara, are you there? Yes, <laughs> I am here. I can only say. to reflect on the words which you read suniti that ragunath is praying to serve nectarian words and smile because he wants all his senses to be absorbed and focused on radhika and uh, this is the way for me like a sadaka whose senses are always absorbed in mundane things to meditate on someone who is deeply absorbed with all his senses in beloved radhika yeah beautiful 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 then it will become pure Yes. Senses can become pure by the meditation of Radhika senses. Sir, Jai. Beautiful, beautiful Mandavar. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. and that is manjari bhav oneness of senses is manjari that is meaning of the like a shadow that is mm oneness 